turned it up, we got the city popping. They know who to blame. Wooski got shot in his mouth for dropping songs about the game. They know what's so I can smoke it with the bros. I ain't even got to get that green and they gon' go. Boy, don't make me call up shh, cause you know he up that skull. My dog a demon, I can't stop him. Fell in love with seeing bodies. Lord, let me think he fast. I'm 762's ate his body. Told you about breaking the rules. You said you dropping, then we dropping. Put feet on land and shards when turn bumper in the track stars. We always in the backfield, we can meet up in the and back park. Get to get back, uh, play with us, get whacked, uh. We put you to nap, uh. Always posted on the fourth, now we in the back, uh. Two Go ask that rapper the consequences you gon' get from dissing. They left his homie in that C A tell him before I miss him. It's hard to shut a tear. Heard the shots go off, I'm mad as fuck. I ain't make it down them stage. Don Jones is wanted uh, in connection with a grand jury that was done by our office. A warrant was gotten for him uh, on June 25th of 2024. This incident happened. It was the murder of Wesley Rodwell, a 20-year-old male who was shot to death at 1600 West Erie Avenue back in May of 2022. He suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, Tyvon Jones is one in, in connection with this uh, murder, along with others who are already have been arrested. The story of Burke Street Man Man is a story of a kid from one of the most violent sections of the city, and a story of that same kid who came to be known as a poster child for the absolute disaster that is drill music in Philadelphia. The music isn't solely to blame, however. It arguably contributes to the already volatile and often combustible situation in neighborhoods like Brewery Town and Strawberry Mansion. In this video, we will look at the circumstances that led to his death and also a little bit about the gang war that took his life. The notorious diss song he made days before his death as well as we'll also be taking a closer look at that diss song, Six Feeders, and learn a little bit about the people he spoke of. Today, we take an in-depth look at the life and the untimely death of Wesley Rodwell, or as he's known on the streets, Burke Street Man Man. In 1970, Philadelphia's poverty rate at 15.4% exceeded the national average of 12.2%. This poverty, combined with gang violence, sought to destroy the communities they ravaged. The city's police reported that there were over 200 gangs and an average of 390 murders annually throughout the 70s. Although only 1.5 of the youth participated in gangs, the gang control unit reported that up to 96% of the gang members were black and over half of the gang-related homicides occurred in de-industrialized North Philadelphia, home to nearly two-thirds of the city's black population. Today, the economic situation remains largely unchanged in many neighborhoods in Philadelphia, with a poverty rate of 23% citywide and some neighborhoods experiencing up to 45% poverty, mostly black and brown neighborhoods. The root causes of gangs and gang violence are complex and multifaceted. From the 1920s through the 1960s, sociologists delved deeper into the understanding of gang formation. They discovered that young people often turned to gangs when they felt marginalized by society and craved a sense of belonging. Understanding gangs is one thing, but how to change them and those circumstances that produce gangs seem more unclear. Despite historical evidence suggesting that social welfare programs can effectively address poverty and crime, Philadelphia, like many American cities, continues to allocate significant resources to just policing by itself, curtailing to the ideology that you can police yourself out of crime. The city currently spends over $800 million a year on law enforcement, according to 2023 numbers from the city controller. Community activists from groups such as Cradle to the Grave and Mothers in Charge continue to advocate for increased investment in social programs, arguing that addressing poverty and providing opportunities is key to reducing violent crime. As Philadelphia faces ongoing challenges with poverty and gun violence, the debate continues over the most effective approaches to creating safer and more equitable communities. I'm sure by now everyone is familiar with the name Burke Street Man Man. If you're not, Man Man or 10 was from Krosky in between 22nd and 23rd. He claimed 24th and Burke Street and was heavily affiliated with Diamond Street and Zoo Gang. Philadelphia is a city where the streets don't make much sense and you never know what action might get you taken out. What we do know is, if you are a rapper in this city, 
disrespecting the people who died as a result of gun violence is a quick way to end up in a grave with the very same people you are dissing. No one wants to hear their dead homie's name cross someone's lips, let alone in a rap song, let alone in a diss song. The more disrespectful you are, the bigger target you're going to have on your head. Burke Street Man Man left Philly's rap scene just as soon as he came in. Within two months of making a splash with songs with Poundside Pop and other Zoom members, he was shot and killed. More specifically, three days after releasing probably the most disrespectful and notorious song in Philly drill history, he was gunned down getting out of an Uber. If you ain't from this block, then you ain't hanging with the guys. But we lost feet, I changed. I seen little Brody lose his mind. But that shit changed a lot. You turned your back, you fall. Can't let them niggas snake me out. See the nigga out of bounds, he catch a hot back, see him out. He in the fear, we wipe him out. But that was then, this is now. Keep it on me in the trenches. Why you think they hang around? Shit, big bees, Burke Street. Niggas play with us, gon' die. We've been banging fours and getting busy. Niggas know what's up. That curry pack ass, I'm mad as shit. That rapper nigga duck. Rap beef has turned the streets into a movie, literally. It's become a spectacle as they talk about the drills they do, and some instances, they give you a play-by-play -play with it. Man Man was from Berg Street, or their little group was called 2418, as I mentioned earlier. He's been in and out of jail since a kid, and he got hit up a few times when he was 16. In my Blumberg G's video, I get more into the history of this beef and how it started, starting with the death of Nolak. Two people were shot on a 1900 block of Anango Street shortly after 5 p.m. on Friday, December 20th, 2019. Isaiah Culpepper was shot numerous times while sitting in the driver's seat of a silver Nissan Maxima. He was taken to Temple University Hospital in a private vehicle. Unfortunately, Isaiah, or Nolak, died that evening. A second victim, a 20-year-old, was shot while seated in the front passenger seat of the Maxima. Police rushed him to Temple University Hospital for immediate treatment. Isaiah Culpepper, or Nolak, was just 22 years old and resided on the 1300 block of Rittenhouse Street. The fracture started in a once unified group of kids from Brewery Town. Like I said, you can watch the G's video for much, much more contact. Blumberg clicked up with 12th and Norris and 5 Up and made the flags. Up until then, a lot of them Specifically, Berg Street Man Man and Blumberg G's and Blumberg Ear tried to keep the peace amongst themselves. I'm on Mars. At this point, I'm talking about my day and spitting bars. Free my nigga 10, they got him locked behind them bars. GTA, I think we fell in love with still a car. Yeah, things be so like feather, yeah. Then I'm buying them fresh and all. We turn out the king, yeah, that's my dog, man. Black in the trench, still duck in the law. Yeah. Yeah. Free low 10 when I heard I was snapping. This shit crazy, man, they caught my nigga lacking. He got time, he got caught with the ratchet. <laughs> yeah, I already know what the fuck that is. Wild Monk, NFL, free tank. I already know what the fuck that is. He tent talk that shit, can Yeah, man, you know who's talking right now, man. It's Lord Tim, man. Free me, man. Big friends, I'll be home real soon. You heard no cat. Two weeks before Nolak's death, the tension was at a boiling point between Blumberg and Zoo Gang. Sonny, a Zoo Gang affiliate, was shot at 21st in Susquehanna on December 1st, 2019. He raps about the incident here. Shot with no precaution, hit the wrong one, gotta stand on that. Uh, gotta stand on that. He's sitting in the can now. All this homies talking shit like, why he ain't just stand down? Sonny was at the window inside of a store called Corner Kings. Blumberg Duke pulls up in a Chrysler 200. Duke, according to court records, gets out of the driver's seat, walks up the ramp, and then stops in the doorway while looking at Sonny. Shortly after, Sonny walks out. 
there appears to be a small confrontation, all caught on a store surveillance. Duke produces a black handgun with an extended magazine and fires at Sonny, striking him twice. Duke gets back into his car and flees northbound on 21st Street from Susquehanna Avenue. Sonny runs away and then returns to the area where he is picked up by a minivan and taken to Temple ER. Blumberg Duke was charged with this crime in January of 2020. This isn't the last time Duke's name will be brought up in this video, however. After Man Man's death, the violence did not end. Burke Street Man Man would go to play a pivotal role in this beef, not only with his death, which made the beef very public, but also on the street side of things. Normally, when a major factor like Man Man dies, the ops celebrate like they just won a championship game. It's always like that in any violence-based battle. The more dangerous a person is, the bigger deal it is when they die, especially if one of your main steppers is on the hit. This picture of Man Man and Blumberg Eared and this picture of Man Man and G's goes to show how rotten these relationships have gotten over the years, especially when a person who killed Man Man is revealed. Burke Street Man Man was cool with guys like Diamond Street Keen, Lil Bape, Diamond Street FM, and the whole zoo gang basically. Diamond Street is not far from Burke Street, so they were close. When No Leg died, Burke Street had to pick a side between Blumberg and Diamond Street. Up until about 2019 or 2020, Man Man also hung out with people from Blumberg like G's, Eard, and Scavo. Man Man went to school at Frederick Douglass Mastery Charter, then went to high school at Achieve Academy in Philadelphia. Many of the people from Blumberg also went to those schools. Poundside The Block and Poundside Pop was cool with somebody named 24 Man Man from Blumberg. People like Fat G's were cool with 24 Man Man. Even Burke Street Man Man, they were all tight at one point with each other. On Saturday, April 27, 2019, police officers responded to the 1500 block of East Wingo Hawkins Street. Upon arrival, officers found Zahir Hassan, or 24 Man Man, lying in the street. Man Man was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported to Temple University Hospital for treatment and was released when his condition improved. Unfortunately, on January 16, 2022, Zaire died from complications resulting from the shooting incident that took place back in 2019. Zaire Hassan, or 24 Man Man, was 25 years old and he resided on North 10th Street. At one time, as I was just mentioning, both sides were cool. Nolak was cool with some people from the Flags, and as the details of his death came out, it was revealed that the Flags had something to do with it. A war of words broke out and alliances were being formed as this situation of youths who never found a purpose in life now had one, riding for their fallen friend. Man Man had a very close relationship with his grandma. She played a pivotal role in his life and he mentioned how her passing affected him in a few songs. My grandma, I wish I was with you. Wish I could hug you. I wish I could kiss you. You know we need you. You left us that selfish. You was my go-to. I love you. I miss you. My grandma died. Left me alone. No, no, God can heal it. On May 3rd, 2022, YP Slumboy of the Black Flags dropped a song called Six Feeders. It was proclaimed Song of the Summer in 2022 up to that point. But the zoo wasn't feeling it because of the amount of disrespect contained in the song. Slumboy takes aim at Fat Reef, Lil Ranger, RB Cat, and Lil Feet, just to name a few, all victims of gun violence within the city limits and as a result of this beef. There were others dissed in the song, but these were the most explicit. Man Man then dropped his own version of Six Feeders on the 22nd of May, 2022, about three weeks after Slumboy. When Man Man filmed his own version of Six Feeders, it was even more disrespectful than YP's version because they filmed it on Blumberg's turf. For the next few days after the release of the music video, people were going on live and talking about it on their stories on Instagram. It had the whole city buzzing and bloggers from other cities were even mentioning it. It was that disrespectful. Leading up to his death, Man Man would post the weed that he had for sale. That gave his ops a picture on how he was moving. And what made it worse, he even posted when he was running out. Allegedly, he gave up his drop by accident by posting 
a picture that the ops recognized. When he died, he was leaving his girlfriend's house near 17th and Airy, where he was ran up on and shot twice in the head. Oh my God, my son, I was taking pictures of my son and oh my God, we had to fucking duck. This boy just got killed. 16th and right here by 16th and Pulaski. Why they start rumbling on the porch though? Look, they look they up there rumbling on the porch. The body's still on the ground. Toast rolling the gas. Oh. Oh holy shit, bro. They drawn. Shit get wild. Why they really rumbling on the porch though? Everybody over there screaming and shit. Immediately afterwards, his ops, who rarely, if ever, went on live taunting him. They made numerous posts trolling him and it went on all day. Like what the f Like what? Like what the f Yo Shit up, we ain't never duck no op. Roll a dice, rich your life, this shit like do or die. Say Drake on name if you want die, that shit like suicide. We want I, 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 what the fuck is I for I? Nigga, why? Cause all they do is this and don't hop in that ride. Damn, it's a shame how Fiki died, man. Fuck that nigga, he a pack, he in the sky. That nigga Ranger runs too, they hit him all up in his. These niggas dying, clicking up. Hey, bro, I swear these niggas bitch. I'm in a V, I'm with the guys. It's time to slide. We on a mission. Yeah, we giving niggas bunk beds. We catch an opera, then we catch another one. I want my newbies this time, pussy. Who the fuck you think you running from? Humble. Man Man's death was not a random or isolated incident. It's part of an ongoing war between two factions in North Philly. And by the way things have been going, this is just one of many deaths that has and will continue to be a part of this ongoing beef. In the infamous song, Six Feeder, Man Man, this is 10 people. 2-4, Shido, Drizzy, Zebo, T-Boulder, Neat, Cali, 40, Loso, Cha, and YP Slumboy. He disses Loso three times, and 2-4, and Shido, he disses twice. Speaking on Chiefy, fuck it, let's spend the night, what the fuck? Chiefy, or Hemlo, was Poundside Pop's right-hand man. He was a big time Zoom member. His name rang bells in the street and he put in a lot of work for the gang. 26 year old Cryon Connor was charged for the double homicide which took place on May 31st, 2021 in which 27 year old Kasim Roberts and 22 year old Raheem Hightower or Heem Low were killed. Sometimes they call Heem Low Chiefy as well. Heem and Thou, who was the other person killed, were friends. They were sitting next to each other in an apparent drug deal gone wrong. Dow was found lying in the street and Hemlo was found in the front passenger seat. Kyron Connor was accused of being seen on camera getting into the back seat with a hat and a book bag. Surveillance video records the incident. It shows Kyron Connor sitting in a car behind the car that Heem and Thou were in. Connor was accused of being seen on camera getting into the back seat with a hat and a book bag. The surveillance tape records smoke coming out of the car, and the car slowly starts to roll forward. It shows Thou hopping out and falling to the street, and the person, authorities are alleging is Kai, getting out of the back seat and into his getaway vehicle and driving off. Witnesses and the car rental evidence, along with cell phone tower data, led authorities to Kyron Connor. NSU Shido represents the black flags and the other side of this beef. The flags mostly represent Blumberg and 12th and Norris. NSU Shido, along with his partner, Neith Curry, were driving around and looking to meet up with a girl the night of the incident that he died. Why these niggas trying to act hard like Drizzy wasn't slumped all in that backyard? 
News has learned new information about the late night shooting in North Philadelphia that killed a 17 year old boy. Investigators told us overnight that the teen was shot in the face during a barrage of gunfire here on the 2100 block of Jefferson Street. Based on ballistic evidence, we know at least 16 shots were fired, and they were fired from clearly two separate caliber semi automatic handguns. The shooting happened just four blocks from the teenager's home. Police spent the night looking for surveillance video that might have captured an image of the killer who's now on the run. Driz or Drizzy was a black flag member who died while walking to the store. Zebo was a black flag member who was murdered in 2020. Za or Zebo was a senior at Camelot Charter High School and planned to attend a six month program for welding after graduation. He had done some research and found it to be a lucrative career with good benefits. Zai was a member of the class of 2020 and he was awarded his high school diploma with his class in June after his death. Zebo was killed on the 1500 block of North 28th Street around 7 p.m. on February 26, 2020. According to police, the 18-year-old was shot twice in the head and once in the back. The teen was pronounced dead at the scene. Neef Curry was shot two times in his head, two times in his left arm, and once in the torso on September 9, 2021. The shooting happened on the 2300 block of West York Street, which is around a corner from where Neef lived in Strawberry Mansion. Neef was transported to Temple University Hospital by police. He was initially listed in critical condition before he passed early the next morning. And Ushido, who was also in the car, who was 20 at the time, was shot in the chin and grazed in the head during the incident, according to police. He was transported to Temple Hospital and was listed in stable condition before his release. Two people were shot on the 100 block of West Gerard Avenue on Wednesday, May 6, 2020. One of them was an older member from the Blumberg Projects. A well-known Zoom member who is currently booked is rumored to have pulled the trigger, killing Caliber and injuring another man. I smoke 40 to the face, hit the man fucking with my head. The kid got shot in his head. Chief, he died, now he did. 40 is one of the big flag members. He was called 40 or Big 4-0. Anthony Mullins, or 40, was murdered on Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. At 1.14 a.m., Philadelphia police officers responded to the 1600 block of West Hunting Park Avenue and located Anthony in the street. He was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported to Temple University Hospital, where he died later that morning. Anthony Mullins, or Big 4-0, was 26 years old and he resided on Edgeley Street. Forty is rumored to have been killed by Ranger, and that is just a rumor. Ranger himself was killed on Sunday, August 23, 2020. After dinner at Budokan on April 5th, 2021, Loso or Jalil Shanes and his girlfriend decided to walk around the neighborhood, passing by other couples dining at restaurants outside. But on that warm spring evening, a van pulled up and three men jumped out. They fired more than two dozen shots at Loso. After years together and a proposal likely on the way, his girlfriend watched and screamed in horror as the bullets evaded her but killed Jalo. He was just 25 years old. People were dining outside. Really a shocking thing to happen about 9.30 last night. Police say the 25-year-old victim was walking with his girlfriend here. Cops say at least 27 shots were fired. And the man died on the scene. And the, the girlfriend, though, was not hit. Uh, a police say Speaking on Chiefy, fuck it. Let's spend the night. What the fuck? Like two, four bitch ass wasn't crying for his life. Stood on top of man, man. Hit him all up in his chest. We talked about two, four man, man situation earlier. And they left Cha-Cha on them steps. Cha Glizzy was caught in West Philly on June 7, 2020. Cha is believed to have been on the side he hit and was a big scorer for the zoo. And YP Slumboy was also dissed and as we know, he made the song of the summer, Six Feeder, and set in motion a chain reaction that has led to Man Man making this version, arguably one of the most disrespectful songs in Philly history. Three days after releasing Six Feeders from Blumberg Housing, Man Man was gunned down at 17th and Airy. Wesley Rodwell, or Burke Street Man Man, was murdered on Wednesday, May 25, 2022. 
At 2 p.m., Philadelphia police officers responded to the 1600 block of West Erie and discovered Wesley lying face down in the street. He was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Wesley Rodwell, or Burke Street Man Man, was just 20 years old, and he resided on North Darien Street. At the end of the day, Man Man's story highlights the recklessness and hopelessness exuded in a lot of disaffected kids in the city. He was born into shitty circumstances and from there made all the wrong decisions that would end up having him see an early grave at the age of 20 years old. Man Man's music painted the picture of a young man haunted by his past, haunted by lost friends both to the streets and to the prison system. Man Man had a close relationship and bond with the guys from Burks and Diamond Streets and the fact that his life was ended by a once close friend is one of the saddest parts of the story. The heat turned up in the summer of 2022 as the loss of Man Man had repercussions that reached far and wide on the streets. 18th and Oxford is also involved in this war. See, there's a lot that I had to leave out for time. North Philly and its wars involve dozens of blocks that overlap and alliances that change over time. So to keep the story neat, I kept it short and simple. But 18th and Oxford has been involved in various incidents over the years, and when Man Man died, they were some of the people that trolled the most. A guy named Young Snipe, or Bundles, was the main rapper from over there. He was once aligned or cool with people from both sides, but that changed over time. A little over a week after Man Man died, Trap Street and Zoo Gang came for 18th and Oxford and whoever was out there. Young Snipe, or Bundles as they called him, was and he was killed. It has been a violent holiday weekend here in Philadelphia. More than three dozen people were shot over the past three days, including a hail of gunfire tonight, leaving 70 shell casings littering the crime scene. Hey, Walter, that's right. The city of Philadelphia continues to see violence. People we spoke with are scared. They don't even want to leave their homes. In North Philadelphia tonight, almost 70 shots were fired just blocks away from Temple's campus. Police say one person is dead while the other is in critical condition. We're very fortunate given the amount of rounds that were fired that more people were not struck by gunfire. A large crime scene spanning two to three blocks was taped off while police investigate a double shooting at 18th and Oxford in North Philadelphia. According to police, a group of individuals on foot, all armed with guns, were targeting at least two individuals. We were able to recover four handguns from this incident. Uh, two of them, at least two of them, have extended magazines high capacity magazines. Chopper 6 captured one of the suspects being taken into custody, but officers say the other individuals remain at large. Less than two weeks ago, just down the block, more than 20 shots were fired, which left five people injured.
Just as it happened when he was alive, the violence and music depicting it continued. Three people were charged in the death of Burke Street Man Man. On June 25th of 2024, a grand jury indictment called for the arrest of Blumberg Eared, Blumberg Duke, and Shiz. Shiz was a part of Buck Boys who were based on the 1800 block of Bucknell Street. Anybody who recognizes that name knows they are from a while ago and used to beef with the Water Boys from Blumberg. So you can see how things get shifty in North Philly. Man Man's time in the city lasted a short 20 years. He rapped his ass off, but also drilled, killed, and made all the wrong decisions. His life was one that some would say was wasted, but to his loved ones, they saw him as much more than that. He left a young daughter, now without a father, and she will only know him through stories and memories. To the city as a whole, Man Man will only be remembered for his diss songs. I don't make these videos to glorify these individuals, but to show where these decisions can lead you. I can only say it so many times, this the dead, and you'll soon be with them. I'ma leave it there for now. Thanks for watching American Confidential, and until next time, be safe. This shit they trolling niggas for the net. At the distance, got shot in the sand, his big bro will pay. Bro said he rolling 40s and said low, so we can match up with them niggas talking about. Cause them boys ain't getting back, uh. Play with us, get whacked, uh. We put you to nap, uh. Always posted on the fourth, now we in the back, uh. Two for on the city, niggas know who on the map. Pussy, all the eyes get cracked, they know that circle shit is drag, uh. I always been the gangsta, niggas sliding, I'ma up and all them flagging niggas, buckets in that rabbit boy, him up and nigga, fuck the law. If I see 10 on windows, then I'm clutching. We gon' show you niggas stepping, know this duck and shit ain't nothing. You know I don't do no bluffing, call a blitz we gon' rush him. We gon' show you niggas stepping, know this duck and shit ain't nothing. You know I don't do no bluffing, call a blitz we gon' rush him. You know I don't do no bluffing, call a blitz we gon'